When it's time to put an image into your Google Doc plan, um, put your cursor about where you want the image because when you import it, it goes wherever your cursor is. So under insert, you will have image and your top option is upload from the computer. You'll now have to go wherever it is you saved your image, which for my, me is in my tech theater folder, called it whole platform, okay? Little side note, you should probably name things so it makes sense as you pick them out. I'm going to go ahead and click open. Right now it's going to drop it in and it's going to be the entire width here. When I click on it, I will have resize handles. Most people can figure this part out. Okay. However, you also get a couple of options up here. One of the nice ones also is crop. So as you can see, I have some extra gray space around mine. So I'm going to click crop and using these black handles, I'm going to actually cut the image down to its only, so it's only what I want. So something a little more like this. Because that's more of what I want. I don't need the extra gray space. Okay, I can also resize this as I need it. If I wanted to, I could also put a line around it to have it have a border. So I would make that stand out or some people like the way this looks as well. I'm gonna undo that because I'm gonna actually move my picture and use it kind of slightly differently. One of the other things that you might do is if you're referencing this in your writing, which you should, you might wanna actually name the picture, number the picture. Uh, you've seen this in textbooks where it says, as you know, referencing, figure 1.1 1 .1 or whatever you want to call it, um, it's nice to then label the picture and have those together. So the way I would do that is under insert, you will have table and I would make a two box table either side by side or top to bottom. I personally like the top to bottom. You're able to do whichever one you want. I'm going to take the picture and I'm going to move it into the top spot. I'm also going to make the table fit the picture. Now the bottom section gives me a spot to name this whole platform. Now I can also take the whole table as I select the table. Sorry, it doesn't want to let me pick the table. One of the other things to do, just so you're aware, is as this comes in, and I'm going to do this outside the table now, um, is it gives me some options. So I can put the picture in line, meaning if I put this up in the middle of my paragraph, it's going to separate it with extra white space. If I don't like this, if I want the text to kind of go around my picture, I can tell it to wrap the text okay, or break the text. Okay, breaking it means it literally just breaks it at this line and gives me a spot here. Okay, this is an easy way to do it if you have written stuff that you want above the picture and below the picture. If I wrap the text, the nice part is, is it also gives me a margin. So if I don't like quite how my text is hitting this, meaning it's coming maybe a little too close, I can drop this down or not close enough. I can drop it down and change how much space it gives between that spacing. I should actually be able to do the same thing with the, sorry, I'm going to put this back in line so I can put it in my table. I should be able to do the same thing with the table. However, it's not letting me accept, uh, choose the table by itself. So I may have to do that actually initially when I insert the table as opposed to later on. That's the way that you're going to work with pictures within your document.